वेलकम टू सीज द मेन्स बाय राज मल्होत्रा आई एस अकेडमी आई एम सुरबी सरदाना एंड दिस इज सीजन थ्री ऑफ आर डेली आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव दिस इनिशिएटिव रन इन कॉर्डिनेशन विद आर वेबसाइट विच इज राज आई एस अकेडमी डॉट कॉम इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड अ लिंक दैट विल डायरेक्टली टेक यू टू आर वेबसाइट ऑन दिस वेबसाइट इफ यू कैन सी देर इज दिस मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग सेक्शन दिस दिस सेक्शन हैज़ बीन एक्सक्लूसिवली डिवोटेड और डेडिकेटेड टू सीज द मेन्स डेली आंसर राइटिंग डिस्कशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वन सेवेंटी नाइन क्वेश्चन एंड देर मॉडल आंसर्स फॉर योर सिविल सर्विसेज मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन टिल डेट ऑन सीज द मेन्स सीजन थ्री ऑफ सीज द मेन्स एंड टूडे वी आर ऑन द वन एटी एथ क्वेश्चन 180th question all these questions have been uploaded uh, in the mains answer writing section on our website as you can see on the board also what you can do is this is not just a one way initiative you can write your own answers on the topics that we are discussing all these topics are from current affairs and these articles have been covered in various newspapers so just uh, you know try to write your own answer and share your answers with us share whatever answers you are writing with us on our website in the comment section that appears under each question so that's how uh, you know sees the mains goes forward uh, our team evaluates your answers entirely free of cost and responds back with their feedback in the next few days so uh, let's look at the topic for today the topic for today and this is uh, this was again the topic for question 155 mg narega or uh, national rural employment guarantee act this has been in news uh, once again it was there in question 155 also but again due to the budgetary allocation that has uh, gone down uh, mg narega has been seen in news again and a lot of articles can be seen so let's see what is the question uh, the question for today regarding mg narega would cover the entire topic so stay tuned um, look out for the question and uh, just stay uh, stand your ground till we share the entire answer with you The question reads that how important is MG Narega to rural employment? Discuss. What are the challenges associated with the functioning of MG Narega? Suggest some reforms to conclude your answers. Uh, answer and uh, answer in 250 words. Post your answers or submit your answers at rajayesacademy.com. See, uh, this question has multiple parts, but as we always say, the more number of parts a question has, the easier it is for you to answer that question. So, uh, how important is MG Narega to rural employment? That is your first part, and you have to discuss this part. Also, there are two more parts. Uh, you have to talk about challenges associated with MG Narega, and also you have to write a way forward. So, that won't be possible if you write very long sub parts in your answer. Uh, that won't be possible to. It won't be possible to. would finish the answer within 250 words itself so keep your sub parts very concise and uh, you know just take a note of the points just uh, with a pencil on the uh, on some rough corner or on a rough page write down what are the points that come to your mind with regards to mg narega if you have read about them if you hold knowledge regarding them and also see how will you start the answer will you start the answer by talking about mg narega uh should it be uh, you know how what the act entails what are its details and uh, what else can you add to your answer let's begin uh, the answer with an introduction let's see what is mg narega about let's talk about it let's talk about what are the assets that are being built under mg narega and then finally we'll move on to discussing its importance and we will uh, when we are discussing its importance that is you know uh, how important is it to rural employment we will try to put some data which is recent especially during the covid-19 pandemic it uh, you know served as a major relief for rural employment for uh, you know stabilizing rural rural economy so mg narega's um, uh, importance with regards to the covid-19 pandemic during the pandemic years that shall be highlighted and that data is widely available uh, and you know mg narega has been praised for that so definitely include recent data even if you're writing very general points that it is important for so and so reasons make sure that your answers are they are they're backed by data and examples because that is something that will tell the examiner that you understand the question and it will get you more marks so talking about the introduction see it appears to be a long introduction but that's just two three lines so do not worry about it uh first line talks about what mg narega is so it was passed uh, the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act was passed in 2005 and aimed at enhancing the livelihood security of households in rural areas so see this uh, this is your uh, basic idea behind mg narega why this act was passed under it uh, now we are talking about the details uh, 
uh, here you are giving the idea or introduction with regards to Narega. Now we are talking about the details. So under it, the MG Narega, uh, Narega is demand driven scheme that guarantees uh, what does it uh, what do we mean by demand driven scheme uh, that if people demand employment they are given that job or you know they are provided with employment or unemployment allowance if the government cannot provide them employment. So MG Narega is, uh, Narega is demand driven scheme that guarantees 100 days of unskilled work per year for every rural household that wants it covering all districts of the country except those with a hundred percent urban population so yes uh, you know there are some keywords that you need to mark here uh, first of all it talks only about unskilled work that is your keyword for every rural household that wants it covering all districts in the country except those with a hundred percent urban population so that is something uh, not very important keywords but talking about unskilled work that is your keyword so underline that the types of projects undertaken uh, undertaken under MG Narega include those related to water conservation land development construction agriculture and allied works see this is something that uh, you know that will serve as an additional feature to your answer but if you feel that you might run out of word limit just exclude this line just delete this line and uh, whenever you're writing answer it has to be you know a uh, measure of what is more important and what is less important when it comes to expressing and presenting. So in the body paragraph one, we will talk about the importance of MG Narega, how it is important for rural employment. So it has an immensely positive impact on income per household uh, that is your first secondly agricultural productivity because yes agriculture is also covered under mg narega um, agriculture and allied works they are covered and then you have production related expenditure these three points now how uh, how these things have helped finally this all this has helped helped with income diversification now income can come from multiple sources for example there are many lean periods of agriculture so what people do is they resort to uh, you know uh, uh, getting employment under MG Narega and infusing resilience into rural households in times of crisis, in times of tough time, when there are tough times. So that is, uh, you know, that is the significance part of it. That is how MG Narega is important. Now, during the first COVID-19 lockdown here, we'll talk about very crude data which came after the lockdown. In 2020, when the scheme was rammed up, and given its highest ever budget of 1.11 lakh crore, it provided a critical lifeline for a record 11 crore workers. Studies gave empirical evidence that wages earned under MG Narega helped compensate somewhere between 20 to 80 percent of income loss incurred because of the lockdown. So that is something very important. Keep this uh, data very handy that, you know, if you want to support the cause of MG Narega and you want to back MG Narega, this data can prove to be very handy in your answers. Now, uh, talking about what are the challenges associated with it. See, if you refer to question 155 of Seize the Mains, this was also about MG Narega and challenges were discussed there also. There are additional challenges that we will be discussing today, but the old ones will also be taken along uh, so that, you know, we uh, provide you with a complete coverage of this topic. So the first one is that the number of financial days, the number of financial, uh, the number of days uh, for which employment is provided un under MG Narega, that is supposed to be 100 years. 100 days of employment but the average or uh, average number of days for from like 2016 to 17 the average number of days of employment was just 48 days that's not even 50 percent and with the maximum of 52 days of employment in 2020 to 21 in fact for uh, you know this uh, 2022 uh, there has been some informal data which says that there have there have been only 40 days of employment under mg narega while people are supposed to be provided with 100 days of unskilled labor uh, um, unskilled employment secondly there are delays in payments the you know sometimes the state governments do not meet certain cr criteria with regards to documentation and all and they cannot prove the uh, you know the accounts of beneficiaries so central government what they do the central government stops their payments the union ministry of rural development withholds wage payments for workers of states that do not meet administrative requirements within the stipulated time period and this is the recent data that as per data released by the center it owed 4700 crore in mg narega wages to 18 states as of december 14 2022 just three months uh, uh, remaining for the financial year to end 
so then you have the problem of corruption obviously there are fake job cards that are coming uh, widespread corruption is prevalent and late uploading of master rolls and inconsistent payment of unemployment allowance that is a problem that unemployment allowance is not paid on time Finally, uh, fourth one, you have the low wage rate. Currently, uh, MG Narega wage rate of many states are less than corresponding state minimum wages. Um, that is their various judgments. They have upheld that uh, the minimum, that the MG Narega wage rate cannot be less than the minimum agricultural wage of uh, wage rate of that state. So that is also, you know, there, that is where uh, some revision is required. What kind of consumer price index we are using? Are we using agricultural laborers or are we using agri uh, or CPI? rural what we are using so that makes a great difference when it comes to um, you know deciding the wage rate for MG Narega then you have a very important point regarding capital formation down to earth magazine like uh, almost around one year back they released they released their cover story regarding assets built under uh, Narega so if and uh, if you know uh, MG Narega it has been there into existence for more than 15 years 15 to 18 uh, 15 to 16 years uh, 15 to 18 years now the assets that have been built under MG Narega they have not been very productive had they been very productive assets they would have transformed rural economy like anything but most of the assets that have been built are with regards to just water conservation or you know uh, water harvesting assets only they have been built maximum in fact 85 percent of assets built under MG Narega are with regards to uh, water harvesting only so that is a problem there that capital formation adequate capital formation is not taking place then you have discrimination discrimination with women discrimination with various you know caste groups with various sections of society that happens and uh, yes then finally you will have a non-payment of unemployment allowances in detail uh, that can be shown by management information system and uh, point number eight is about lack of awareness most people do not know let's say you know when we talk about deprived sections most people are not aware of benefits that can be availed under mg narega so there is still lack of awareness because obviously illiteracy levels in rural areas there are they are higher then you have poor infrastructure building because improper surveillance happens even you know even after geotagging uh, lack of timely resources result in poor quality assets because you know sometimes the resources are not available so even if you're trying to build a building create a building or uh, construct a building if assets are not available on time resources are not available on time then that uh, you know it gets stalled for the next few months and then you have to call the labor back again so that is a problem that happens uh, now question the third part of the question directly has demanded us to suggest reforms to conclude uh, your answer it has uh, ask, uh, asked us to suggest reforms that is your way forward so your body paragraph 3 would be about suggesting a way forward so first of all the best way forward can be handle the you know problem on an economical basis first address the delays in wage payments and all the issues that arise from wage payments improve the financial management system including regular transfer of funds to the states and timely release of funds to the implementing agencies strengthen the administrative capacity and accountability of implementing agencies and improve the transparency and efficiency of wage payment process including the use of digital tools and platforms to track payments and prevent delays then you have a uh, strengthen implementation capacities uh, capacity to strengthen the implementation that needs to be used that instead of using expenditure and income uh, poverty as the only markers exclusion must be identified at the household level that would you know that would actually tell you that which are the actual households which are you know finally excluded which are excluded at the end and uh, these could be uh, you know there is uh, enough evidence to show that MG Narega is fairly well targeted benefiting the poorest especially SCs, STs uh, families however there is scope of improvement there for instance panchayats blocks and districts where employment of scs and st families is lower than their proportion in the population must be identified so that these are the areas where we need to focus upon and this focus can happen if we uh, strengthen the implementation capacities and we carry out detailed analysis 
then uh, building the spirit of public participation that is somewhere lacking in uh, engineering there is need to build the scheme on the spirit of public participation about completing assets so government was must leverage consultative process and forums such as state and central employment guarantee councils which can be beneficial for the government in making informed decisions and addressing the needs and concerns of the people so that is about it and finally in the conclusion just write down a very basic line that it is the it is time that the government makes an earnest attempt to map the impact of each of its reforms on access to the expenditure of mg narega particularly in poorer states see uh, talking about poorer states or talking about building of assets there have been just four or five states where most of the assets under mg narega have been built and poorer states are lacking behind as assets have not been built there or mg narega benefits have not reached poorest of the poor so now uh, you know uh, recently in december the sinha uh, in november back in november sinha committee was appointed to check or you know to carry out detailed analysis of functioning or implementation of narega so you can write this in your answer as well sinha committee associated with mg narega so basically uh, so they will be carrying out uh, all the analysis with regards to mg narega so when the report uh, report is released um, uh, implementation hurdles or whatever improvements are required in uh, mg narega that would be clearer so we'll be able to write better way forwards because the report would be there in some time sometime in february but uh, see here you have to also mention that there are some states which are benefiting a lot out of mg narega while states like bihar and jharkhand they are being left behind so now uh, state based approach has also be uh, to uh, has also been uh, has also to be taken into consideration because only then you know pan india development can be achieved pan india you know upliftment out of poverty can be achieved with the scheme with schemes like narega also uh, keep a tap on the editorials that you see on a daily basis right now february is all about economy uh, budget and economic survey and you know view points of various writers with regards to them they will be seen in detail so this is high time of the year that you cut a lot of articles you preserve a lot of information or uh, whatever appears in the newspaper right now it would be about uh, you know prelims based facts discussing the budget and economic survey directly from next week onwards we'll see a lot of analysis based articles so you know just uh, pull up your socks and see how can you benefit out of this month uh, with your newspaper reading habit this is the entire answer for the day for seize the mains yes our answers do cross the word limit they are not 250 words or 150 words long but that is just because uh, we also aim to provide you the information the entire data or the entire information for a particular answer if you're finding problem with writing answer within the stipulated word limit refer to seize the mains video 0 the introductory video of seize the mains there is a separate playlist on youtube there is an introduction video which is 40 minutes long and there you know we have discussed how you can uh, actually write shorter answers within the stipulated word limit how you can do that the best way to do that is use flow chart Parts in your answers. Do not use full sentences. We use full sentences here so that you know the uh, language is clear to you. But do not go for full sentences all the time, especially when you're writing in pointers. Use flow charts to uh, indicate various parts of information that is required in the question. And uh, yes, so that's all for seize the mains today. I'll see you with another discussion tomorrow at 9 p.m. Also, uh, check out the website rajayesacademy.com and look for question number 180 for the content here. and also post your answers uh, post your answers on the website which appear under this question in the comment section as you can see here so yes um, i'll see you tomorrow take care and all the very best